Hey, what's going on, YouTube? I just want to say thank you for the for the support. And I know I know I'm kind of late on this tutorial, but I really have been busy. I've been busy working on music. Those of you you may know, but for the, for the ones who don't know, I do make music. I make beats. My spare time. So if you want to check out the music that I um make or what have you you can check it out on my second channel i will leave a link definitely let me know what you think about it let me know how you know how it sounds i guess or what or whatever but yeah but anyway let's get right into it thank y'all for 500 subscribers again and i guess road to 1000 all right peace all right so let's go and get started so with Ermac Spectral, we know what he has. So, but let's just go ahead and just, just for the sake, right? So we have his 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 main tool, which is his flight stance, and we have the the buttons that we can do while he's in in the air. So standing one, two, three, four, and then down three. And air burst, and charge. All these things you can do in the air. Fly backwards, up, down, cancel, and instant airs, or what have you, right? Um, so with the flight, let's just talk about the flight for right now, right? The flight is good, obviously, but I don't like to use it for like, you know, these purposes unless I have to. Unless I have to, right? I'm don't my 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 fellow my fellow Mac Mackies out there, or whatever, right? Don't be like that, man. Don't don't be one of those guys, bro. You want to be intimidating. You don't want to be playing like a, a mosquito, right? You don't want to be running unless you have to. So let's talk about how we do the flight. The easiest way to do the flight would be, I'm just gonna put on one and put on uh, normal. The easiest way, like at first I got discouraged cause I didn't want to, I didn't, believe it or not, I, I didn't, I tried Ermac at first, but I couldn't get the flight so I didn't want to play him no more. But I figured out how to do it like consistently. And so it was fun ever since. So this is how you do it. Literally right now I'm just holding down. And once he stand up, you see how he, normally just stand up from laying going down once he's about to stand up simultaneously you press up and rt and that's how you do it you see how i blocked right there that's what you want and obviously it's not going to do it because i'm not doing it fast enough see i didn't mean to do it right there i'm just showing you down and as he get up so it's like he's bouncing that's how i did it look at him bouncing like a bounce that's how i literally thought about it when i first started like as he as if he was bouncing okay so once we get good with it we can get it instant and it's so good you'll get so good with it that you want to just equip it like faster you like you want to be faster with it right and then you start doing the instant so that's how you do it but we'll start from the basics this is going to be a basic tutorial and then yeah it's going to be one of them videos where you, you know be one of them guys that life will part two right <laughs> that's going to be me now i'm playing but if they can do it, why can't I? But anyway. So you'll be pressing down as you come up, RT and up simultaneously. Now we have the flight mechanic down pipe. We have this down pipe, we can do it on command. We're ready for the next step. Cause this is very this is very important. Right? So now we'll talk about the type of cancels that the flight have. He has four types. You can even say five types of cancels. Yeah, I know, right? You, <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, he has like four or five types of cancels. And let's talk about the first one. Obviously the first one. And it, it's weird because once you go here, you'll see it ascend and up, forward, back, down, descend. And that's all they show. And they don't show anything else, do they? Nothing else. That's it, just down. But, and, and that's the only cancel they show, but he has four. So this is the first one, obviously the send. And he has the, the quickest one, which is down, down. That's the quickest one. And he has the attack. So if you do like any move, like standing one, two, three, four, and press down, down, that's the quick, that's the quick one as well. So that's like an attack, 
cancel. And you have your special move cancel. So this is how you drop it to the ground. That's the cancel. Right? Right? And you have the down down one and regular descent. So he has cancels. And this also, the other one is also from the, uh, will be also from, well, I already said special attack, but you can cancel this one too, like this. Good combo. Let's see your meter build. Right? And let's, let's actually talk about his meter build. So I'll actually put it on one bar. Actually, I'll put it on no bar, right? And so he has good meter build. Of course, you have to be careful depending on the character you're playing against, like Scorpion. And anybody can teleport in, in or out on you. Zone in sometimes. Like, you just got to be careful. You have to be the player now and determine when you can do this. So this is his meter build. You'll see. I don't do it all the time because for the most part, I'm, I, I have meter. This is meter build. Right? It's not as the best, but this is meter build. So him doing two inputs. One, two. And it's rapid. Right? And you could also do an into air one too. And so this that's his meter built. He has meter built, not the best, but it is something. So that's pretty much all the mechanics with him flying. You can go here, here, up, back down. Cancel. I told you about how to do that cancel now. There's no mystery anymore. Um There was one more thing that I wanted to mention with Oh, yeah, so, right, that, that's what I wanted to talk about. So when we go to his regular flight, right, regular flight, notice this. I go up and I go over, I don't drop down. Once you start doing instant airs, you'll drop down um, automatic, like instantly, right? And another thing is if you do it instantly and try to fly, you see what just happened, you'll fall down. So the standard, you, it, it allow you to stay in the air. So that's one thing you have to look out for once you start doing it instantly. You're gonna have to watch out for like you doing it instantly and then you pressing like stuff like that. Cause what I try to do is do an instant air ground pound, but you see it did a regular standard three. It didn't register. Instant air ground pound is so good because especially against Scorpion, because the reaction time. Because if I do an instant air, they have to react and then and if they react slow, they can get punished for trying to punish me. You see what I'm saying? They can get punished for trying to punish me. Like, what's going on? That's the full combo punish to be like a teleport. Full combo. All right? So we talked about the flight. Now, let's talk about... That's pretty much what's his movement, right? So um, we will have Scorpion on Universal. And we'll go to Flame Port. So there... Oh, I got to put up, give him a bot, right? So there are things that you can do safely, excuse me, you can do safely, and there are things, obviously, they're, that they're pretty much gimmicks. But understand this, Ermac has an answer for almost everything. That's the upside. Like, yes, he has gaps, and a lot of people like to exploit his gaps. Yeah, because as you see right here, he can get out of that. If you, if you have armor, <clears throat> you're getting out of that. 100%. If you have armor. Um, but this is one thing I don't understand to this day, guys, is in practice mode, as you see, in practice mode, as you see right now, Scorpion can't teleport. But when I go in line, people get out of it with a teleport, and I don't understand how. But, but I do know this, though. If I just put him on um, uh, Backdash, I do know this. If I put him on oh, sorry, back dash, he can get out of that though. You see what I'm saying? So these are things you have to worry about as well. These are gaps. These are his gaps. And now you're vulnerable because you in the air now. You're vulnerable because look at that. He has time to teleport. And if you, let's just give it a shot. Let's try and see. Cause I don't know. So we're gonna put myself on number two. And we're gonna have Ermac do the exact same string always and we're gonna do the exact same string right so i even tried it okay and that okay i'll do it over because i have the block i have the block right so we'll try to and i think this is, let me get closer 
Yeah, so he don't, he don't have time to do anything. So that's it. It's the last kick. Okay. Now I'm learning right now with y'all. I'm learning right now with y'all. Hold up. It's the last kick. I didn't know that. So now you guys know, just like me, it's the last kick that they they get out of. I do not know that. That is insane. That is that is that is kind of OP. No, nah, it's not. Just really just teleport on the last kick. Like. That is that simple. Okay, well, I guess we know how that works, folks. So what's the counter to that, right? Now, he has to have an answer to that. He has to have an answer to that. Um, so this is the answer. Once you go into flight stance, there's a couple things you can do. You want to test the waters first. Mainly, they will, mainly now we know it's the last kick. Oh, e even the second one looked like, what the heck? That doesn't even matter, because once this is the answer to that, this is just a simple answer. You have to cut it short. You will have to always cut it short for them to understand that you can't just quite keep backdashing. And if you know they're going to backdash, this is the answer to that. Literally just teleport for a second, and they can't recover in time. It's that simple. See, it's risky, but it's a read, though. But it's rewarding, as you see. On the second one, because we can, like I said earlier, we can do special attacks in the air. After, I can do this, one, two, three, four, and go for a teleport. One, two, three, four, and go for a ground pound. One, two, three, four, and go for the air burst. So there are, there are counters, there are answers to these things. And that's why it's always constantly a read. Okay, now we understand that you can do two things. You can cut it short this way, keep it safe. You can keep it safe this way, or you can just teleport and read, right? Depending on which one he's gonna do, because you don't know when he's gonna, which one he's gonna backdash on. So that's also a read. So guys, you want to just keep it short and then chase him down. See how that's plus? See, this is plus. And you can punish them for that. It's plus. See, uh, he, he can he can catch me a little bit sometimes, depending on my execution. The most plus. Since we're talking about plus, we're gonna keep mentioning everything that's safe. So now, when we in flight stance, what can I do safely? And I won't, I won't have him teleport because Scorpion is different. In fact, we're gonna switch because Scorpion can get out of this. But we're gonna talk about for the most of the cast, right? So if I go to um, Melina. Cause it's important that we use her actually, cause it's, some, it's something I want to show you guys. So we'll use Melina. She has a six frame, frame ball roll, universal, and I'm gonna show you why execution is important. All right. So first thing we gonna do is turn the buttons off first. Put it on uh, one and normal. That's what I just like to do. And um, we're gonna have her on. Universal will be on ball row, right? Cool. We And this is going to be difficult against Melina because she has a low profiling Universal. So you see how she just go right under that? And he's looking up into the sky and he's actually watching something else. We can actually do that on, anyone, on someone else. We can do that. Anyone else we can do that on. So this is the safe strings he has. Standing one, one, one. We have three, uh, four, three, four. Standing four, I can already say that. Um, four, two, and back. And sometimes, and actually, surprisingly it works surprisingly well so we can equip this it passed the test down here right as you see i want you to remember those inputs i just said because those are your real inputs they're all true even to a certain extent four two three i'm sorry four two one rather all right so those are the inputs that you can do safely as Ermac looking into the stars again, that you could do safely into a flight, right? Now, what do I mean by safely? No, I don't mean every single time you can do one, two, three, four. 
or two, three, four. No, that's not what I mean by safe. No, let's, let's embed that in our minds now because we can't do this 100% of the times. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. And there's reasons why it's not gonna work, excuse me. Because I'm still uh, recovering from a uh, cold, I guess. So, pardon me on that. Obviously, his back three as well, right? So his back three also will be his safe stream. His, 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 his back three is like really good, actually. But let's talk about why they're safe, though. Because I said, just because it's safe don't mean, and you'll wonder why people keep getting out of there, right? They'll keep trying to get out of there, and it's like, why? I'm safe. This is what I mean by safe. It won't work with Melina, but there, there, there are options. We're going to get there, but these are true. Once you do that, air burst, like the perfect person to practice this on is Shinnok because he has also has a six frame universal health box and it works on him, right? This is what I mean by this. This is your basic stuff, something like this. Not, not exactly like standing one or stuff like this. It, it's, it's the air burst, that's the pressure. That's, the, that's, the, that's the, it's the air burst, that's the pressure. And these strings that I'm having you work on are safe and real against anyone except for Melina. But you notice she keep ball rolling. So what can I do against that? Okay, I know that these are real and, you know, I'm doing these strings, but she keep getting out of it. What can I do? Well, I'll show you an answer you can do. Now, there are two things, maybe three things you can do. You have strings that you can do that Melina can't get out of. In fact, we'll show you. I'll show you better than I can tell you. So we'll even have her on vanish right that's it that's that's a universal and it's going to be vanish towards we'll show you how safe this this string is so we know what plus and then we know what gelling is we have one we have two strings that gels ermac gels into flight stance people don't, people don't think that he has anything that can gel he does and this is four two okay so four two gels as, as I'm, oh, I'm sorry, I'm doing the wrong thing. I'm doing the wrong thing. It's four or two, but I, I need to do air burst. That's what it was. See, this is what I'm telling you, air burst is your best friend, right? Air burst is your best friend, you see the deal. Sorry, I messed up. Air burst. And so you would do four or two into an air burst, because it jails. And he has another string that jails, is his back two. And that actually jails like, Without the special move, actually, hold up. I could do a regular standing one, two, three. Let me get, let me try that. This may be a little difficult. As you, you've seen this, this, hold on, I'll get it, I'll get it. There you go, that's gotta move over something. Well, you, you see it. Trust me, I know it works. I've done it. It works. Trust me. It just, it just, you can't do it. I've input unless, there we go. See? Come on, I won't, I won't steer you in the wrong direction, guys. You know that. All right. So, that was his jailing thing. So, if at the end of the day, they keep trying to get out of your pressure, because it's going, trust me, guys, it's going to happen. They will try to get out of your pressure. They will because they don't know what to do. <laughs> they don't know what to do, so they gotta try something. So don't get mad when they pressing buttons. I, I went through all that phase, it's over. Like I understand them trying to get out of the thing. So this is when you determine the type of person you're playing against. Are you playing against someone that know what they're doing or don't know what they're doing at all? And so you'll get mad because they're getting out of your plus range, but you gotta expect that. So again, his strings that are plus and safe will be standing one into this. 1-1, one, 4-2, one, four, even 4-1-2, four, because you can keep anything safe with this. That's what that's the, at the bottom line. You can keep anything safe with this. You have characters that fade out like Smoke, Scorpion, and Melina, but and, and Raiden, you know the rest. But for the most part, who's fading out? So you gotta think about that. So in other words, this type of stuff is safe. You have standing three, standing four back three, down four, you have uh, three four, and sometimes on you know, some people back one three, 
but everything is safe because of this move. Again, this is what I was telling you that no, it's not that plus for you to do the whole stream. No, that's not what it is. You can't, because think about it, that will kind of be kind of broke because I'm getting a lot of chip damage. All that is one. All that is one. This burst is not that much. I mean, it is, but think about, think about all that. You can't just, that's just, that's too much chip damage right there. Right? So, it's, it's gaps. It's allowed for them to get in that have an escape, which is either the second one or the third one. Once we do the, the, this kick or this kick, you can get out of those two kicks. Even the second hit, right? If you do one, two, that, I believe you can get out of that too. Let's test that. You see what I'm saying? So, but options are, again, you can go for down, down. She, she has an invisible frame, so it's different on her. And I'm using her for a reason we haven't even got to yet, because we need her to test our execution, okay? So, that's how you keep it real. You wanna cut it short with the air burst. So keep it real, cut it short, get used to it. Get used to just doing that and poke. That's like pretty much a basic pressure in a way. That's like pretty much a basic pressure. So, you'll be doing things like that. Obviously not exactly like this, but if you wanna practice on something, I'm gonna give you something to practice on. It would be this, all right. This is, this is, this is hard. This is hard. So, let's get it. Um, we can go to her, Universal will be back on ball road. Now, that's that. Cool. We need to work on this. And I know I need to do it on both sides. I'm, I'm strong going this side. Not as strong on this side. But, we need to work on this. We need to work on our insta air burst. That is plus, as we about to see now. You see how she ball rolls out of it, but the first time she did, and that's the that's the fastest that's the fastest universal is the ball is the uh, six frame, All right? So we need to work on that. Do this like three times in a row. Ah, uh, see, I'm trying to do it three times in a row. Oh man, come on. One. That's one. T that's one trick I do too. After the first one, I just dash up to keep the momentum going. Uh, but you see, it works though. You see, you see, it's safe plus even. So you have to be, you have to be extremely fast for this one. Oh my goodness, I can't, I can't, I can do it on this side, but I'm trying to rush it. Like, all right, hold on. Hold up. doing something wrong. Maybe I'm holding it. I'm gonna go back to this side because I'm, I'm, I'm almost, get, I almost have three on this side. It's kind of hard, bro, but I actually recorded myself doing it already. I could probably insert the clip. Like I've done it on both sides already because I knew I was gonna be doing this. I just can't do it right now for some obviously reason because of this tutorial. It always works like that, but but, that, but that's what you want to work on because it's safe and it's plus. She is plus. She can just borrow on it. So that's what you want to work on. That's why I use Melina because that's plus until you have into those type of shenanigans, right? Um. So we so we worked on the flight. We worked on our flight. We, work, we know the gaps in the flight stand which is the last two kicks. Even if you do the first one, two, it's a gap, right? Um, this hit is plus, this is plus. <laughs> Believe it or not, standing one is plus. It's plus four, I believe. It's actually plus four. Uh, yep, see, plus four. Nice recovery, cancels, pretty good. Like, this is why we able to do things like that. So if I come over here and like this, you're not reacting at all, right? no, you may be. Um, but this is plus, of course the ball roll, it, it says otherwise, but it's plus. Um, we have the flights, the special cancels, the flight stands. We have his meter build, the flight. Oh, let's talk about another thing. So let's talk about his charge. His charge is really good. 
Okay, his charge is really good. We have the regular one, and as we see, and I'll show you something. I'll show you something. Let's do this. So we'll go to. Sorry if you keep hearing me do that noise, cause I'm told you. Uh, if I had put his inputs on, right? I'm gonna show you this. So I go here and do a regular. <clears throat> Sorry. The regular. You see the how long it takes for me to jump? That's the regular. Right? The regular one. But if you do an instant air one to recovery on it, it's a lot quicker. You could jump a lot faster, as you see. See you jump a lot faster when you do an instant air one. Yeah, it look exactly like the regular one, but I'm doing it instant. You see? And this is the regular one right here. You can feel and see a difference. So his flight is really good. This flight is really good. And you just jump right over. Jump right over and then back into your um, shenanigans. Oh. Right. All right, so give me one second. All right, we back. Um, I had to do something real quick, but I'm back. So let's talk about, it was certain It was certain buttons I was telling you about that's plus on anyone else, but Melina was low profile in it. So I'll show you for a good example. Uh, we have it on one bar, infinite, buttons off. And we have this universal on. It's gonna be on uh, Hell Sparks, or Hell Blast, all right? So these moves here are real. I was telling you that this gels is true. It gels. He was gonna do it until after I was done what I was doing. So he, you can even go for your four string when you do four, when you do four two. This is your, this is your most plus string you have. This is your most plus string you will have. Okay. It won't. Well, that see, this is things you have to be careful for. See, no. Okay, let me show you. So notice how if I do four, four, uh. Four two, and just go for two three. That the four width. But if I go for this, go well, this and go down some. Slightly it works. You see what I'm saying? Like slightly it works. If you go down, so you go four two. That plus that it allows you to go down some four two and even back two. But that's in the corner. And so we have certain strings that we can do that. It's plus everything. See, like I said earlier, everything is either safe because of this move here alone. So anything you go into the air, even your even your overhead, you see the trade. Even your overhead. Once you do the burst, it keeps it somewhat safe or a trade. That's the good news about this. That's the good news. You can't unless you play obviously a, a teleport character or something like that. Then you you screw. But nonetheless, if they can't really teleport or hell sparks like that. Like if you late, you see, if you late or anything, or if you try to move, you can't do anything. This is an instant thing. You have to instantly do it in order for that to work. You can't go down, go over. Even with this, I can't go over. You see, and this is one of my most plus strings as well. Or plus something So what you would do here is instantly go for your standing three. Like sometimes four don't work, so you may have to go over slightly. Slightly, but you can't do the whole two, three, four, as you see. This is what I'm telling you. So that's a part of my things to know. We're gonna get there. Things to know. You can't do the whole string in the air. You can't. You can't. They gave the, they gave them room to get out of our strings, of our attacks while we're in the air. They gave them room. So, but we can do that, and we can do stuff like this. And, um, you know, more ground pounds and things like that. So, 4 2, great move. That's like, if you want to stop some, that's literally like on a Molina play. If you want to stop someone from mashing, ball rolling, if your 4 2 is your best option, that's the plus thing you have. And, and let's just look at it alone because it doesn't even say it's that plus, does it? But you see it jails. It legit jails. So, <laughs> it's actually negative, but the recovery makes it so good and the startup and the startup isn't even the best and, and it's not even the startup actually it's it's more so the the block advantage and the recovery the main two but 
You see? So that would be if you want to stop anyone from mashing, you say, okay, I got something for that. That's what you do. That's what you pull out your sleeve. You pull out your forward two. And even your back two, because your back two also. Um, and you have multiple streams. That was mainly on Melina, but someone that can't low profile, you can go for three, four. You can go for three. But three is hard against the now. Look, look at the pushback. Look at the pushback versus anything else. See, the pushback is more significant with three, it seems. <clears throat> but we have three, we have four, two, one. Keeping it safe, instantly doing your burst. Meaning I can't fly over and try to do all that extra stuff because it's not going to work. You got to know that it has to be instant for a trade down. Everything is not meant for you to move and things like that. You have to instantly do certain things. Um, we have... And again, so these strings, I'm, like we have standing one plus one one plus and it, and it trades. Like I said... We have four, three, um, two, actually. Like, a lot of these things trade. Like, a lot of even this kind of gel. See, like, a lot of this stuff works when you do the burst. That's, like, the best thing we have that Ermac has is just the burst. Really? So, keep anything safe with your air black. Remember that. But that's no, it's a, it's a play style, but it's not the funnest play style. But it's a, it's a, I can stop you from mashing play style, you know? <laughs> so, that's good. His burst is so good. It's like anything you do. Even this gimmick move. This move is so fake because I can't do anything else but the burst. The burst is that, literally that good. Okay? Even down four into a burst. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, it's that good. So, we're going to swap off Shinnok. And then we can go to someone else so we can actually explain some things in the corner. All right, so we back and we decided to go with Kung Lao and we're gonna put everything on normal, one bar uh, off and we're gonna put them in the corner. Oh, I forgot to put them in the corner. And we're gonna make the universal on spin. Tornado, right? So his corner attacks and in a corner, it's, it's a lot better in the corner. Understanding this, guys, again, you will find people that don't know what they're doing, and all they will react to are either two things. One, the overhead, or two, the, the, the flight. <laughs> they're just waiting for you to go in the air, and then they'll do anything. So that's what they re that's what they're waiting on. Actually, it's better to describe this, and well, explain this in the center, because some people, and you can trust me on this, guys. Let me put them in the center really quick. You can trust me on this. You have some people that literally block up mid. When we in the middle of the screen, they will block up, block high, and don't care about their legs at all, literally. So things that you will have to work on, you will have to work on your attack, your low combos. So I'll have them stance. You will have to work on this stuff. See, like, I'm kind of used to uh, P4 right now, because I've been on P4. And if you want to play me on P4, you definitely will definitely run. But you will have to work on this. But I'm going to tell you something. Notice that that was 30. And this is, this would be more, I believe. I believe the low into this, because the risk is so much. 34, right? The risk, because it's not safe. Like, if, I, if you block that, I'm getting, you're getting punished for that. So, use the flight, put the flight, and go for this. Work on that. Most, at first, when I, start, when I started, I couldn't do this for real. See? I just couldn't get that timing right. I'm taking, and I'm, I feel like I'm waiting too long anyway. I don't know why that's even connected. But work on that time, man. And because... You will run against people that literally block up the whole time mid. But when we get in the corner, it's weird because they blocking high the whole time. Because they just waiting. Well, they blocking low, rather, the whole time. And it's like, well, you were just blocking up the whole time back there. And now you're blocking. It's like, dude, make up your mind. But I, I guess I concluded it's their strat. Because I've legit played people that only waited for me to do an overhead and then did spin and stuff like that. 
it was just like, bro, <clears throat> you know? So you will have to work on your low conversion. Not doing stuff like that. That's not gonna get you nothing. Or stuff like that, like you gonna have to work on this. Make sure you get make sure you excel at that. So why can't I look I can't even do like I can't even do the charge if I want to. I hate that. Like, come on, bro. But um, let's go in the corner. But again, remember, work on. See, even if you have to keep doing this to get them as the um, that's not safe, you know. So that's not safe though. But if they, hey, look, if they want to keep blocking up, abuse it, abuse it, abuse these, abuse these. Right, right. Like I'm telling you, you're gonna get people that are legit just literally block low. And I played recently a guy that was blocking low the whole time. And I'm used to people knowing to block like high, like up here when we in the mid to punish my overhead. But because your overhead gets you your most damage full screen, the most damage you can get full screen is like in the 40s, 40s plus. And he was just blocking low and I'm trying to go for the low. I'm like, what? Like, and he was punishing me for, even though it's not safe, he was just blocking it. So. You, and that's one thing you have to understand. You have to instantly determine, like, what type of block pattern they have. <clears throat> right? So you can so you can decide what block, what, what route you want to go with your mix-ups. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so, corner. We can go for things like this. This all combos, you can even combo from the, um, from the overhead as well. You can connect the overhead. And work on that type of thing. One strategy I did was I go down slightly. I come down. So the f one thing I did was come down slightly when I first started. But the overhead it took me a long time to understand how that even works. You know what I mean? Hey. Again, like I said earlier, it's going to be one of them videos when you got like for a part two. You know, I got some sauce for y'all. Just let me know y'all, you know, want it. <laughs> but anywho, in the corner, we will get people that want to spin. So, so let me show you something. Let me show you something. So if I, if I have him blocking low, uh, stance and duck, right? Watch this. Okay. You see that though. You see that, right? You can't you see how like the other time it was see he 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 spins out of that it's weird so what you want to do to consistently get it every time is just drop down so you're going to get people like this literally bro I, I can't i can't lie they will keep trying they will keep trying when you do the low these are different than when you walk up slightly so this is why i have to do this but of course you can go for the full but the, the other one always whips so i always try to just Keep it short and fast and fast. Momentum is so key with Spectrum, as we all see now. Like, he's so key. He's flustering. And that's the objective. You want to fluster them. So, the best thing to do in the corner with the low attack is drop down. Because if I go over some, that's a spin. And if I'm too late, like, I can go over fast. See, it's a spin. So, it's a spin and you want to go you want to be low so this sort of blast won't whip you see so you want to drop down like this i drop down too much with this one you could just go for um you can drop down again on here too you can, i think you can even go over it slightly too. but you want to cut it short again like i said earlier bro you can't do the full one two three four two or four two three four you have to cut it short sometimes. You have to, you have to, you have to. Just remember that. And you will have to determine when after all of your, you know, you know the people. You know that now. Okay, I told you earlier, you want to equip your grabs a lot. Some people see, I have so many play styles with Ermac. This is why, you know, I, I'm not saying I'm the, like, I'm like, you know, the best Ermac or anything like that. It's just, I have put in a lot of work against different characters, so I have a lot of playstyles. 
Okay, one play style I have is the strike throw play style. I have to have that. You have to have that with Ermac. Back to specifically, because that's the even more of the threat right there. To know that, okay, this guy is a grabber, you know? And look at that, that's quick. And I haven't even mixed with that. The no mix up mix up. So, grabs are so good. That Oh, grabs are so good. So that's one place I got my two place out. Um So what else? What else? What else? What else? I think I'm just ranting now at this point. I, I covered everything. All of the basics. Like again, next next the next thing is just going based off matchups, because I have matchup knowledge. We need to we need to work on the matchup knowledge. Like I have tech versus a lot of characters, bro. Like that's an instant hit. Go down some, I'll grab you. And this is the cool thing about his grab. I'll say this. This is something cool about his grab. Look at... Well, okay, watch this. If I go here... It may not look like it, but his his overhead can't connect. It can connect from right here. It's weird. It may not look like it, but it can. So if I go for a grab and time it right... Time it right, like a slight walk up, that overhead is connecting. It's, it's, it's the weirdest thing. I never, like, paid attention to it. But you see it connected. It's a slight walk up though. A slight walk up. To a grab. <clears throat> reads that you will have to make though, I will say. Reads that you will have to make because you have jumpers. You have jumpers. People that like to jump. You have jumpers. So you will have to make reads like this. You will have to be in this range and doing stuff like this. I can't do it right now, but you get the idea. You know, you'll go for stuff like that. And so around, perfect, around that range, it get kind of intense. The, the, it get intense. The tension between us two is high at this moment now. Once he do a spin or I do something and I start to get close and he know my potential, I know his potential, it started to get high. And so we need to, so we'll, a spectral or a rock player, as we would do, we would just wait for either the jump but you wanna, if you if you know he's gonna jump, you wanna go for this. You already know why. <laughs> you already know what happens after that, bro. It's just what it is, All right? So you wanna, so around here, like you wanna play. See, this is what I do now. I take advantage of this. So once I know I have respect, I get damage because he can't zone. I mean, because yeah, Ermac can't zone. I do damage like this and stuff like that. And now, see, he got hit. Chances are he may jump. I just know that. So I'm ready, I'm ready for it. I'm just ready for him to jump. Cause once he got hit, I just knew something was gonna happen. And I, I'll creep in, I'll creep in. Cause instantly I, I wanna get close to him. I want to, but I'm, I'm, hey, he's a threat still because of his fast attacks he has. He has that spin and he has that hit. So I'm, I wanna get close and he has that dive kick. So now once I've seen that, I'm ready for a jump. I'm ready for a jump. That's just instant. And once he jumped, it's, it's just a wrap. You know, that's 51% gone right there. So another thing that's cool about his flight, and I guess this is all extra stuff now, something that's cool about his flight, if you do it like this, or ain't even gotta be like that. Notice how low he is, but he's still doing this. <laughs> Isn't that weird? And I told you earlier that that standing one is plus. Look how low he is. See, he's trying to spin, but it's plus. He could just jump down any, he could literally drop down at any second, so. Um, like for part two, honestly, I think this may be it. This is just the gist of it. Like, I know I need to get this video out here, and again, thank y'all, man. Man, y'all understand. Y'all, man, I, I, under, I understand what they talk about when they say, man, y'all the best, because y'all, I won't be doing this video. The heck, I don't, I'm not, I don't care too much for, like, all this, but. Yeah, I want the video, bro. So, you know, this is the appreciation thing. I really do thank y'all for subscribing and paying attention to my Hermac. I ain't really, I didn't really think nothing of my Hermac. I just be playing them. But y'all seem to like them, so. We, we reached 500. I'm a man of my word. And yeah, so here we are. So again, thank y'all for uh, tuning in. And. Yeah, I think that'll be it. So again, just like for part two, I will be doing characters like, cause I have tech for um, Triboard. 
have tech for uh tribe boy have tech for um katana kenshi kodu jason uh i don't know about predator predator kind of predator kind of jacks kano uh not really much raiden i think i already said sector um Luke Kane, having some tech against Luke Kane. It's actually some crazy tech too, bro. Like reptile. Like so I think Melina too. But I have so I have tech. So it's pretty much just let me know which character. Honestly, let me know which character you want me to start with and I can show you. Even Tremor I have tech against Tremor too. Like, let me know which character you would like and I'll show you the the tech that I have for it. It's actually unique tech too, so again this is um Yes, you know, S1, S19, Silk, exclusive, however you want to put it. But thank y'all for watching. I'm out. Peace.